you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Believers, God has been good to us. Praise the Lord. Today is the 29th of December. Amen. It is the 29th of December. God has been good to you from January to the 29th of December. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are still alive. You are full on your table, yes. clothes on your backs. And hallelujah, you can rejoice because your God is good to you. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Bless Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. I know that in the year 2019, we all would have gone through some things. And we, we have gone through those things in different ways. And uh, my God, those things that came to our lives in the year um, in, in the year 2019, those things basically would have brought about some changes in our lives. And uh, it brought about this change in our lives. Some of the changes that would have been um, effective in our lives uh, some of those changes, we want to initiate some of those changes. And uh, some of the changes, um, they basically came suddenly on us. And uh, there are changes that um, from time to time will come suddenly on the us. Praise the Lord. And why? Because change of itself, it is inevitable. It means I want you to know that you cannot stop change. You cannot stop more or less that wheel from turning. And you cannot stop more or less changes that will take place from time to time. Today you can be here. And tomorrow you are somewhere else. Today you can be rich and, and, and wealthy. And tomorrow some change took place. And as a result of that change, you don't have the amount of material things that you would have had. I want you to know, my God, the change of itself, it is in every heaven. It means change will come whether you like it or you don't like it. But as I said to the folks a while ago, that when change comes, when change comes, your Success is determined based on how you treat with it. Praise the Lord. Because I want you to understand, as I said, you cannot stop change. But my God, sometimes what happens is we react to change. We react to change. And you know, there is a saying, every action brings about a reaction. So sometimes we react to change. But I want you to understand, hallelujah, my God, this is not the way how God wants us to deal with change. He don't want us to just react because, my God, reacting to a situation is trying to become equal with it. Come on, about It is trying sometimes to justify yourself. It is trying, my God, when you react, you make sometimes harsh decisions. And the harsh decisions that you will make it can bring some, it can bring about hurt and pain to you in the future. Praise the Lord. Because you reacted to the change. You my God. Why do those people react to change? People react to change most of the time because of fear. Amen. My God, human beings, we are afraid of change. And when change comes, my God, we react. But I want you to understand, yeah. my God, as we go into the year 2020, yeah. today I just want to prepare your mind yeah. as you look or as you observe yeah. the passing of the year 2019 yeah. and the ushering yeah. into the year 2020. Yeah. It is important that you prepare your mind and your, yeah. and your hearts and be ready yeah. to embrace faith. Yeah. But how do you? embrace change. Yeah. It is not by reacting to change yeah. but responding to change. Yeah. I want you to understand it's a difference of yeah. my God to react yeah. and to respond because if you react yeah. my God most of the time yeah. you will make errors so yeah. you will my God you will make mistakes yeah. but my God when you respond yeah. you will think it through yeah. and my God and you will make the adjustment hallelujah stop my God. You cannot stop the, the, the weather from changing. Come on to God. You 
You cannot stop it from snowing. And those who live in countries that, 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 that experience snow, they are aware that that change is going to come. So what they do for that change is to prepare themselves for that change. They make sure that they get proper clothing. They make sure, my God, they make sure that they have what is necessary for them to be able to go outdoors, to be able to go to church, to be able to go to school. To be, but I want you to understand when, my God, when winter comes, they don't close the school. When winter comes, they don't close the church. When winter comes, they don't, my God, ask people to stay in their home because it's winter. I want you to understand, they ask people to prepare themselves for winter because that change it is in every time and it will come whether you like it or not. Hallelujah! And my God, preparing to respond positively. You can respond positively to change or you can respond negatively. I want you to understand change. It comes in so many different forms. Change comes by God in our homes. Change comes, come on to God. Change comes in our relationship. Change comes, come on to God, in the technology that you're using. Today, my God, I want you to understand, my God, a couple years ago, you knew nothing about microwaving. And my God, and when my parents heard about microwave, my dad always said, I am not going to eat any food that you put in that thing. Because, my God, that is going to give you cancer. Because, oh my God, he was afraid of change. He was afraid of that change. And he was afraid that that change will bring hurt to him. But somebody, I want you to know, my God, who can live without a microwave now? Who can live without a microwave now? Because I want you to understand that change, hallelujah, and responding positively to that change, it has brought convenience to us, hallelujah. My God, the very form that you use, the way things was before. My God, we had the pages, and somebody had to pay to you, and then you have to go to a phone, and you have to call the person who paid to you. Today, my God, from the youngest to the eldest, everybody has a cell phone. But I want you to understand, there are people who still tell you that using the cell phone will get you cancer. And my God, and if you hold it too much, you're going to get cancer in your hand. And if you put it by your head, you're going to get cancer in your head. But I want you to understand the problems with human beings it is we are afraid of change. Hallelujah. So my God, we live our lives in fear. We live our lives wondering what is going to happen in the year 2020. What are the changes that will come? What are the changes that will come to my job? What are the changes that will come to my God in my home? What about that child that my God that you love dearly and you want the best for the child but you don't know what is in the heart of the child. You don't know my God if that child will continue on the path that you have purpose for that child to continue or if that child will move away from that path. I want you to understand all these are realities but what is important to know it is that change is inevitable and my God and God has given you the ability to respond positively to change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my God, you ought to be ready for change. You ought to know. Hallelujah. Don't allow change to take you by surprise. You gotta embrace change. You don't turn a deaf ear to change. My God, things change and you leave it like that. And you turn a deaf ear. Let change have her way. I want you to understand, hallelujah, you have a responsibility to respond to change when it comes. So my God, I want you to understand, you don't become a slave to change, but change must always be your slave. Come on to God, you don't allow change to push you in a direction that you know is not best for you, but you 
allow change to take you and to, and to follow you in the direction that you will want to go. Hallelujah. I always hear my dad say, and I grow to understand it more now, that how you make up your bed is exactly how you will lie on it. Come on, somebody. And my God, I don't need to understand it. My God, if you accept the bed as it is, and the bed is full, and the bed, my God, is, 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 is full of things that can hurt you, and you want to go and lie there, then that is where you want to lie. And that is the pains that you will have to live with. Come on, somebody. But I want you to understand, hallelujah. My God, yes, the bed might have been, might have been a comforting place. But for some reason, the other things change. But I want you to understand that you can accept the bed as is, or you can make the bed comfortable to continue living a comfortable life. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Change is inevitable. You can do what you want. My God, change is going to come. Your loved ones might be here with you today. And unfortunately, my God, they're going to leave you tomorrow. And you wonder and you cry for, for days and you cry sometimes for years. How could God allow this? But I want you to understand that all that is a part of the, the system that you live in. Hallelujah. Change, my God. The only permanent thing that you, my God, the only permanent thing that you can, 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 can identify in the life that you're living now is change. Change is permanent. Everything else that you claim to be permanent will change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything that you, you claim it will change. But somebody, I want you to understand that change can also leave you as a dinosaur. Change can leave you behind. I want you to understand you don't ever allow change to go ahead of you. You must always be the leader. Come on, somebody. That's why if you don't take stock, change is going to leave you a dinosaur. I want you to understand you'll be living in the past. My God, you'll be living without microwaves in your home. You'll be living without a cell phone. You'll be living without, my God, having a bank in a pump that you can go and, 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 and withdraw money through a machine and no longer stand in a long line for three and four hours. You will live your whole life, my God, be pressured because technology has brought you into another level. Hallelujah. I want you to understand knowledge has increased and continues to increase and it's evolving. It's, it's changing every day. Today, my God, you hear about, my God, the S9 and tomorrow you hear about the S9 Plus and the next day you hear about the S10 and the day after that you hear about the S10 plus and it goes on to 12 and it goes on to 20 because my God change is inevitable hallelujah you cannot stop change my God hallelujah you got to respond to it you got to make sure that you are a part of what is happening you got to make sure that you are part of the solution God has placed you here to be a part of the solution. And my God, and that my God, to be a part of the problem. And my God, people who don't embrace change, they always, my God, fall within being a part of the problem. Because my God, they stand in the change. They stand in the way of the change. They, my God, they find it's happened too fast. They find that it should not be done that way because we are custom doing it this way. I want you to understand, listen to me. Children of God, as you usher into the year 2020, prepare yourself for change because the world is not getting better. But change is happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. You got to embrace it. Whether you like it. 
like it or not. You gotta embrace it. But I want you to know, hallelujah, that all things work together for good to them who love God and are called, hallelujah, according to his purpose. Paul words in his epistle to the Romans, Romans 8 and verse 28. Romans 8 and verse 28. Now let's say that. Romans 8 and verse 28. And we know that all things work together for what? For good. To those who are love the Lord. To those who are called according to his what? Purpose. Can someone say all things? Can someone say all things? The writer is saying that. Paul is saying that somebody. I call this hallelujah the incredible reality. I call it the incredible reality. Oh God. I use the word incredible. And my God, when you use these words, some people, my God, begin to question you. But my God, you go, why did I use the word incredible? My God, I'm just I'm just saying hallelujah. My God, it is an unbelievable reality. It is a reality that men have not learned to adopt. Hallelujah. Imagine, Paul is saying, for we know that all things work together for good to those who, are, who love the Lord and to those who are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Do you really believe that all things work for good to those that love God? Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Do you truly believe that? My God, my God, you, you believe that all things work together for good to them that love God? My God, let us read again. Come on. Let us read again. Hallelujah. Let us read again. Right? We know that all things. Oh, yes. Paul is saying all things. Can tell us all things. Paul is saying to him, things that is both good and bad. Paul is saying that things that is both pleasant and unpleasant, everything, everything, and that also includes every person that will come in your life, praise the Lord, and work together for the best for those who love God and also for those who are called according to God's purpose. Can tell the time, praise the Lord. Can someone say all things? All things. Can someone say everything? Everything. Can someone say everything? Everything. I want you to understand, my God. Somebody has said, Pastor Simbos, my God, what about what about those wicked people that will come into my life and all this sort of thing? I want you to understand. Listen, this about my God, you know, sometimes we see people as enemies. Come on, somebody. You don't just see people as enemies, you see the devil as an enemy. Amen. Amen. Because the devil works through people. Come on, somebody. Yeah. My God, I want you to understand. Listen, listen, about But you gotta know, hallelujah, that even that very enemy, the devil, who's working through a person as a beaten, I want you to understand, hallelujah, that that is working together for your good. Praise the Lord. Somebody, I listen. It works together for your good work. Come on, somebody. You gotta know who's the devil, and you gotta know the reason for the reason. Praise the name of the Lord. How God wants you to see the devil. How God, I told you, praise the name of the Lord. Your, 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 my God, your fight is not against flesh and blood. Amen. Your fight is against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. My God, there are people, there are good people who allow the devil to use them sometimes. Amen. But somebody, I want you to understand that God wants you not to see the person, but he wants you to see the devil. Come on, somebody. The devil that is working through that individual. Come on, somebody. And how God wants you to see the devil at all times. He wants you to see the devil as an enemy. Can someone say enemy? enemy. But God, hallelujah, wants you to know also that he has made all your enemies your what? Your foot stool. Can someone say, All my enemies are my foot stool? So when you, my God, listen, listen, my when you embrace, when you embrace that kind of, a, of atmosphere or whatsoever, my God, that 
to come your way. My God, the enemy is going to come with an intention to cause you to fear. Hallelujah. You will see, hallelujah. You will see it as a, an enemy that God has placed for your footstool. Hallelujah. My God, and why a footstool? A footstool, my God, my parents always had peers. And they call it peers, you know, those little piece of wood to get a, a thick piece of wood and put one on the top and two on the side and it's probably a little nail. And then the peers. And my mother was um, a little lady, a little shorter than me. So my mother used to hang all her all her pop spoons and all those things she used to hang it up the time. We do that still now because we put cupboards on top and we put cupboards on below. But now my God we have we have put stools still that we use but we have a, a little thing like a ladder. Come on somebody. And we put up a little thing like a ladder and we climb up in the in the my God in the cupboard on top. But I want you to understand when the Bible talks about the stool, this is what the Bible is talking about. It is something that you can use to make height. Come out the bottom. So my God, the devil, don't see the devil as someone who can take from you. Don't see the devil as someone who can steal from you. But if he came to steal, he came to kill, and he came to destroy. But you have to understand, come on somebody, you have to understand that he is, hallelujah, he is your Lord, hallelujah. God will not bring a ladder for you and tell you to make height, he's going to bring the devil. God is not, if you want to make height, God is going to bring the devil for you to make height. Amen. Amen. Because I want you to understand, listen to me, somebody. How can you, how can you be found to prove if you was not proven? How can you call yourself? The Bible teaches that Jesus came to make us more than a conqueror. How can you call yourself a conqueror or more than a conqueror if you never conquer anything? How do you understand, my God, to be a conqueror or to be identified as a conqueror? You have to learn to conquer. It's how much I bring it up. And my God, learning to conquer is learning to climb. And learning to climb is looking for the devil. Yeah. Amen. Somebody, are you listening? You don't run for the, for the devil, you look for him. Yeah. Yeah. Because, my God, without him, you will not be able to climb. My God, you look come on to my I hope you don't understand. My God, man. And Deacon Lester, Deacon Lester took a ladder and Deacon Lester put a ladder right behind this door. He put a ladder there. Why did he put a ladder there? He said, Pastor, I put the ladder right there because I have some work to do and I have to go and climb to be able to get that way where I want it to be done. So I'm not putting the ladder too far. I'm not putting it in the kitchen. I'm putting that ladder close. So you know what is happening here? When he's ready to climb, he's looking for his ladder. So I'm not interfering with that. Because the man will be looking for his ladder. I want you to understand, listen. He's looking for his ladder to get the job done. Hallelujah. I want you to understand, my God. When you want to get the job done, look for the devil. Somebody said, I'm going to look for Jesus. Ah, come on, somebody. Somebody said, I'm going to look for Jesus. Come on, somebody. Jesus is saying, listen, man. The order I give you power. Whatsoever you bind on the earth, it shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on the earth, it shall be loose in the heaven. Hallelujah. You got to know that when the devil brings about circumstances that will cause change in your life, hallelujah, you got to know that the God intention is for you to use it. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You don't run from change. You don't close your ears on change. You don't close your eyes on change. Change some time. Come on, somebody. Open doors for you. Yeah. And if you don't, my God, if you close your eyes, you will not see those doors. Come on, somebody. Yeah. If you close your eyes, you will not see those doors. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I want you to understand. Listen to me, somebody. You open your eyes and you, you be vigilant yeah. about every, my God, change that will come in your life. Hallelujah. My God, the change it is inevitable. Contend with our praise the Lord. Contend with our praise the Lord. Everything that we meet in life, everything, everything without exception, my God, everything that we meet in life, everything I said, without exception, work together for our best. Contend with our praise the Lord. And work together for our best. Contend with all things. Can someone say my afflictions? Can someone say my afflictions? My 
all our trials, can someone say my trials? All our persecution, can someone say my persecution? Can someone say my persecution? All, all our calamities, can someone say my calamities? Calamities to which we are exposed to. My God, I wouldn't be my God. Don't let nobody tell you. Don't let nobody tell you that you, my God, are, are so isolated and you're so, and you're so, my God. How can the understand Christians misunderstand what it means to be covered by Jesus Christ? How can the understand that don't mean that sickness ain't going to come? Because as a child of God, you will get sick from time to time. But somebody, you got to know that even your very sickness, it will work together for good for you because you have been called according to God's purpose. Hallelujah. I want you to understand, listen to this about it. If my God, if that is how it was, then no Christian would have get sick. Somebody, I listen to when your sickness come on from God, your infirmities, they are there sometime to lift you and to bring you to another level, to bring you to another level, to believe God. My God, somewhere along the line, your faith sometimes begin, my God, to dwindle. And my God, and God allow a superation so that you will learn how to believe Him. Hallelujah! God is said what change. I go to the doctor and the doctor is telling me this and the doctor is telling me that. How oh, all of a sudden things just change for me. How oh, all of a sudden I never had that before. I never thought I would have had that before. Look what the doctor is saying to me. I want you to understand now is the time for you to respond with the change. Hallelujah. You don't my God close your eyes like my God like an ostrich. And stick your head in the sand and leave your body outside. I want you to understand, my God. You confront change. And my God, and respond to change. You must determine how you want it to go. And not allow change to lead you down a path. So my God, for the year 2020, you must determine, my God, how you want it to go. Hallelujah. And one colleague said a while ago, one colleague, good friend of mine, not a member of my church, my God, living in the bamboo at one at, in that time. He is now deceased. God bless the soul. And my God, the boy now started to serve the Lord. And the, my God, he loses his house in a fight in Bamboo. And my God, he loses everything. Everything he loses his home and now started to serve the Lord. Telling him, my God, um, I can remember telling him, God is good. And uh, all things work together for good. And my God, and he looked at me in awe because he was wondering how St. Bruce could tell me this. When I lose my home and my family is now homeless, how could he tell me such a thing? But somebody, I want you to understand, advising him. Those times, you know, I work in for a company, and that company owned most of the own, at least 80% of Trinidad and Tobago. And my God, and the young man is a very good worker. I told him, I said, You do uh, a, a, a donation sheet, and that donation sheet, people is aware of the fire service will give you an stamp it that your house was burned down. And you know, my God, that young man. That young man was able, that donation sheet, listen to me. The company went as far and not only giving him, my God, all the blocks and everything else, the villa mansion in Bambu, but my God also to furnish the to furnish the house and my God and who didn't and who co and give him this and give him that. I want you to understand the house that he built, it might have worked, my God, a hundred times the house that he had, because he had his little board house. The board house, one of them those nice board house with 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 groove and tongue wood. So he didn't like the house too much, so he feel as though he lose everything. But I want you to understand when he stand up and look at his big house, a hundred times of work, my, my God, than the house that he had. I want you to understand all things work together for good. The devil loves the Lord and the goes for call according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Those who love the Lord, come on, somebody. Yeah. Those who love Him, those who call according to His purpose, and say, "Lord, I pray." 
the Lord. Can someone say praise, praise, praise the Lord? Yes, my God. There are numerous and long continuing separations that may happen from time to time in our life. However, it's important to note that these long and numerous situations, you know, sometimes believers who want it to happen quick, fix it quick. I want you to know that they are among the means that are appointed for our welfare. Know that it's not by chance it is happening to you or that happened to you. And as you go into the year 2020, know that your God is abundantly able. You see, if you leave that verse, that is uh, verses 5 and, and 18, that we read a while ago, it's our manga, that verses 5 and 18, I think we read the, our, our, our scripture verse 1 and 8 and 28. Amen. Yeah. If you read that verse, and if you believe in that verse, then 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verses 18 is also fulfilled. And that scripture in 1 Thessalonians 5 and verses 18, it says, In everything do what? In everything do what? Not in everything that is good, you dance. But the Bible said, In what? In everything, you dance. That is not what is written that in everything that is good. Amen. No. But in everything. Can someone say in everything? In everything. It says in everything in thanks. It means both bad and good. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Both bad and good. That's how thankful you will be if you believe in Romans chapter 8 and verses 28. Can someone say praise the Lord? Can someone say praise the Lord? If you believe in Romans chapter 8 and verses 28, you will give God thanks in everything. Yeah. Amen. We'll go through the year 2020. Yeah. Not being a dinosaur, but you must be ahead of change. Come on, come yeah. on. Yeah. Change must not take you by surprise. I want you to understand sometimes we reach a place in our lives that we have loved ones. Come on somebody. You have loved ones. You have relationships. You have loved ones, my God. Whether it's children, whether it's husband, whether it's wife, whether it's family members. My God, sometimes you become so attached. It is okay to become attached. But I want you to, my God, you must always believe God to keep things a certain way. But no, my God, that life of itself have its in, in, in abilities. It means, my God, from time to time, you don't know, my God, what can happen and when it can happen. Yeah. God, sometimes, my God, sometimes that woman just decides she wants something else and she wants to play the fool. My God, and you just there crying day and night. And you're piling yourself away. You don't, you, you, you don't want to sleep. I said you don't want to sleep. What does the pastor say? I don't want to sleep and I can't sleep. But she is misbehaving. And my God, I want you to understand. You are my God. And your soul is appointed. Why? You never, my God, you never, you never, and my God, you never, my God, put, put your mind to believe. That, my God, that, that something like this can ever happen to me. Come on, somebody. But I want you to add my God. Vice versa. Sometimes the man intends to play the fool. My God, the man decides, you know, something. I I really don't care anymore. I'm just playing the fool. So vice versa. Come on, about Human beings, my God, can change. Amen. Right? But one of the things that is important for you to know is that the God we serve, he's an unchangeable God. Amen. Amen. He remains the same. The Bible teaches, let every man be a liar, but let God be true. be true. Praise the name of the Lord. Put your confidence in God. Amen. As you go to the year 2020, trust in God. Hold on to his unchanging hands. Know that circumstances and everything that is around you is going to change. The only permanent thing that exists in life is change. Come on, the Bible. The only permanent thing that exists in life is change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Get some of the time, praise the Lord. Get some of the time, praise the Lord. 